Tell me what to do in the comments. Tell me what to do. What's up everybody? Welcome or welcome back to our channel. My name is Alicia and it's so great to have you guys with me tonight. Y'all, don't get on us about Vlogmas, period. <laughs> No, I'm just playing y'all. Hey y'all, so listen, this week has been a week because like y'all saw in the last video, I had to take Asa to the doctor last minute because he had a fever of 102.7. Um, it ended up going down to about 99 point something and it ended up staying down. So he went back to school, all that, yada, yada. Why do we wake up the next morning and Tim is like, uh, uh, uh. My throat hurts. Y'all, it blew me. When I tell you I was blown, I'm like, bro, why is everybody sick? Like, stop it. Because I felt a little tickle in my throat, but I've been, like I said, doing my vitamins. Um, I don't know if I said this in the last video, but I've been taking vitamins um, every morning. I'm about to start taking fenugreek and mother milk tea to just kind of get my breast milk back up so that I can like hopefully produce um you know some good antibi antibodies for a day and all that kind of stuff so she can get better because she's sick still she has an awful cough I'm hoping she does not develop asthma so we're praying against that right now um but the way she's coughing like she just has coughing fits to where sometimes she almost like can't breathe for a second so we're dealing with that. Ace is better, thank God. But now Tim has a sore throat, a cough, and his body and body aches. Y'all, I can't. I just can't with the sickness. Like our family, our household has been sick for the last two months straight. Like Ace has been was sick on his birthday. Then it seemed like he got better for maybe a day, and then now he's sick again. And it's wild. Like I'm just blown right now. So just pray for us. If you believe in Jesus, if you believe in God, just pray that we are healed and that we stay healed in the name of Jesus. Because the ghetto. Anyway, <laughs> um, other than that, I'm actually on the way to pick up Asa right now. He is at my Aunt Velda's house. Um Oh, this car is all up on me. Like, I can't go nowhere else, baby. Back up. Anyway, so he's with my Aunt Vilda. And um, so I'm on the way to go get him now. And then I'll probably stop and get us some food. And then we'll head on home for the night um, to get ready for church tomorrow. Um, yeah. And then what else so on another note today was my first day back at work y'all and it was good it was really good it was very tiring like my body is is it's just awful um my back is killing me my feet hurt I think my shoes are too small I think my feet have grown um, and so, like, just standing up, my toes hurt, my feet hurt, my back hurt, my hands were locking up. I'm just not used to it because I ended up going back to work as a stylist versus what I was before because I didn't really have a title before. M mainly what I did was, like, administration, so, like, the appointment making, calendar checking, um, emails sending out text messages sending them out like marketing and stuff like that um but then on the flip side I also did like salon assistant type stuff like the towels and the laundry and then um I helped and stepped in whenever someone needed help with a hairstyle or shampooing and that kind of stuff and then I also was the customer service person so anytime somebody had an issue they came to me about it whether that was employees or customers. So I was also like a manager type thing. So I was like everything. I was wearing all the hats, you know, and that kind of thing. So 
but now I am back as just a stylist praise the Lord um, <laughs> because it would get a little hectic I loved what I did like I loved being in the role that I was in um, it was very like easy for me I, I don't know it just I just slipped into that role very well um, better than I have before because I have been like an administrator before but I don't know at this place it just was a lot easier to do and so yeah I thank God for that but I thank God that I'm a stylist now so that all I have to do is hair <laughs> um, and you know still like my customer service and everything like that with my clients but yeah and I'll probably step in still if there is if there is a situation or if there are things going on I'll probably still step in where I'm needing everything because the owner is actually um, going to be at our other location. So I work at the Snailville location of our um, salon and the owner, she is at the Atlanta location of the salon um, just building things back up because they moved to a new um, building and everything. So they have to, you know, just get everything implemented again at the new space and just revamp some things so she's just spending a lot of time over there so she's just asked me to you know do what I do and kind of just step in where I can but just be a stylist for the most part you know I have the hiccups so that's what I've been doing um or that's what I did today today oh my goodness today I had a client and it was a very challenging client. However, it was not challenging um, behavior-wise or attitude-wise. It was like the style was challenging um, because the client had severe alopecia. I don't know which alopecia she had, of course, because I didn't like thoroughly go through it. Um, she had a consultation with one of our other stylists. I just ran a red light. Lord, please don't let me get pulled over. Um, but yeah, she had a consultation with another stylist. And then um, I was around when she got that consultation. So I kind of knew the situation. I knew she had alopecia, but I didn't really go into depth about like what kind or, you know, really looking at her hair and that kind of stuff because I wasn't the stylist that she booked that with. So anyway, I ended up getting booked for the style that she wanted um which was kinky twist which is an individual style y'all so i ended up having to do you know like individuals on the outside and then doing crochet in the center and so it just really it took a really long time to figure out where to put an individual versus what area to make um, a part of the crochet because she just really wanted hold on y'all Tim's calling me okay y'all so quick little side note it turns out that I am actually going home because um, we thought that our friend we thought that our friend's birthday stuff was tomorrow um, the 17th but it's actually tonight, the 16th. And her birthday is tomorrow. We thought it was tomorrow because we thought she was in a wedding that was today, but apparently the wedding was yesterday. <laughs> so apparently the wedding was the 15th. Her birthday stuff is the 16th and her birthday is the 17th. But we thought that the wedding was today, the 16th and the birthday stuff tomorrow the 17th on her birthday anywho um so yeah i'm on the way home to basically pick up tim so that we can go to her birthday stuff um and all of that <laughs> i'm a little tired because your girl was up until 3 a.m this morning i guess 3 a.m means this morning because a.m is morning anyway so your girl was up until 3 a.m working working when I tell you working I mean working I've been putting in that work I can't wait for my relaunch y'all 
my business relaunch is coming soon i'm not exactly sure when i haven't been trying to put too much pressure on myself i've been going with the flow you know because stress makes me not do well and so i'm just going with the flow i'm doing what i do i can't really do much having a day every day anyway i don't feel comfortable with having people come to my house while i have a day there i'll prefer for her to be at daycare so i can fully focus on my clients but hey you gotta start somewhere and it's about my family it's about making money it's about doing what i love to do all of the above um but i have to start somewhere and that somewhere is free 99 in my house and then on saturdays at the salon so yeah anyway um so i cannot wait until my business launch i rebranded the only thing that's the same is the logo my logo is the same because it's very sentimental to me and i love it it's very beautiful um and it embodies exactly what i envisioned when i first created it um and got it made but everything else like the colors are different um fonts are different my website is different I'm just really, really, really excited. Everything is slick launched already, but I'm going to just keep it on the hush-hush other than on here with y'all because I don't know if I am prepared mentally to launch right now. So, but your girl will be launching very soon. I'm thinking, why not make it a new year type of thing, you know what I'm saying, and relaunch in the new year like and start building up that momentum but see that's the thing i want to build up momentum and start advertising and marketing for it and stuff like that so like you know creating social media posts that's like relaunching on such and such date or coming soon to my home near you type of thing you know <laughs> something cute or you know just something not cute but something like saying that I'm relaunching before I launch you know so I want to do that but anywho I'm getting off on a tangent and um I was saying all that to say I was up till three o'clock this morning working um on my business and on my business stuff uh, with a little bit of tiktok here and there <laughs> but yeah um I'm really excited for that so back to what I was saying though um, I had my first day back at work and it was nice. The client's hair was challenging because I don't know how to work well with alopecia. And so that is another thing when it comes to my business. I really want to, um, I don't really want to niche down because I don't want to, I don't, oh my goodness, y'all, these hiccups. I don't want to niche down because I don't want to limit myself. But a lot of people do say, like, you know, you want to pick a skill and master it so that way you can, you know, be the person to go to for that thing um, and all that kind of stuff. And so the thing that I have been interested in recently is alopecia and hair loss because like i have been coming in contact with a lot of people who are losing their hair and they are in the black community y'all our community we are losing our hair and that's crazy and like i just think about like people like my grandmother every time i go to do my niece's hair she's like can you do my hair too and i'm just like grandma i don't know what to do with your hair because it's thinning and I don't want to make it worse. Like I, what I know to do is tension styles or, you know, not tension to pull your hair up, but it's like protective styles, like braids and things like that, that kind of, you know, if your hair is already thinning, I would not suggest braids. So yeah, I just really would like to focus on alopecia, but that would require me to go back to some kind of education to get more training. And I'm tired of school, so it's gonna be YouTube University for me, okay? YouTube University and Google University because I'm not going back to school right now. 
you couldn't pay me to go to school. Well, yes, you could. You could definitely pay me to go to school. But I'm not doing it. I don't want to go to school. I don't want to be in nobody's classroom. So I'm not. But anyway, so work was good. I'm back as a stylist. It was nice making money. You know, and seeing the money that I'm going to make or that's going to come on my check. Even though it's just one day, you know. But hey, it's more than it would have been if I didn't go to work today. So God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Um, Y'all, that's really it. Like, my day was nice. It was normal. Um, but let me tell you about this client, though. Because I started her hair at 8 a.m., y'all. No, excuse me, 9 a.m. An hour later. Started her hair at 9 a.m. Did not finish until 5. Why did her hair take eight hours? Granted, granted, um, I did do small. So I'm actually quicker than I thought I was because I thought small anything, like small, small braids, small twists, small anything would take me about nine to ten hours, and it only took me eight hours. So big ups to that. That makes me feel good right now. Um, I gotta get a little faster with all of my different styling and stuff. Um, but yeah, so, hmm, I just thought about that. That just made me feel good because I'm, you know, uh, better off than I thought I was. What is happening? Okay. Come on, baby, come on. Right, like, you see us letting people through, go. Anyway. Um, so yeah, that took eight hours to do y'all trying to figure that out to me all eight of them hours. But again, it was, so, it was small twists and I had to do crochet also. Yeah. And the lady head was not small. <laughs> Let's just say that. But y'all, I have this pimple. I don't know if it's a pimple or a mole because all of my family has moles on their faces, but I think this is a pimple. I don't know. Anywho. But yeah, y'all, I just wanted to talk because one, we've been slacking on Vlogmas because everybody is sick. Everybody in the house is sick. So I don't even know what to film. I'm not going to have my family sick on the vlog. So it's hard to figure out what to do for Vlogmas by myself because everybody's sick. So let me know what to do, y'all. Tell me what to do in the comments. Tell me what to do. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this little update about my day. Because um, I enjoy talking to y'all. I really do enjoy talking to y'all. I like, I love being entertaining as well. But this is like doing a... a, a vlog every day or you know this is basically like talking to my diary and I enjoy it very much um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy being with me and you know me sharing and everything like that um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like comment and subscribe and follow us on Instagram um, follow us on Instagram those are down below and always remember we love you God loves you. You are loved. And we will see you all in the next